is John Hanner. I'm with Virginia Yachts. And today we're going to talk a little bit about impellers and seawater pumps. Um, we have in front of us today a seawater pump off of an engine that's in the gasoline uh, engine side. And basically what this does is on the back side we have an in and an out. And it's bringing water from the body of water that you're boating in one side, it comes through the pump and it pushes it into the engine. Helps to keep the engine cool uh, so that it doesn't get overheated. And I want to take time to open this up. I've already relieved the bolts that keep the cap on and show you a little bit on how this works. There's a little rubber piece in here that's called an impeller. And it looks something like this here. There are different styles, there are different brands, and um, depending on which boat you have, you're going to have to pick the correct impeller. As this spins, it brings the water into the engine. Now, the important part about this entire video session is the fact that this is a rubber product, and rubber products tend to fail. In addition to that, the debris that may be subjected by coming in from the boat um, can damage this. These little points that come away from the center are called veins. If one of those veins is damaged, it will reduce the amount of water flow through the engine and it may get stuck in the cooling jacket within the engine and cause an overheat condition. Once you get into an overheat condition, a lot of problems can occur and we want to stop that. So we want to make sure that we change this impeller according to the manufacturer's specifications and we don't forget about this. This is a, probably the most critical part of your engine in a non-metallic form. And the reason why I say that is if you don't keep your engine cool and it overheats, you could lose the entire engine. Without putting fear into you, uh, it's not a costly repair, but uh, most engine manufacturers are recommending every other year for replacement or 100 engine hours. So that's very important. I want to repeat that. Every other year or every 100 engine hours. So we want to be careful, make sure that we check into uh, this impeller change every other year. And this is for the engine. Real briefly, I'm going to move over to a smaller impeller that's still in a package. It's about an inch and a half in diameter. This impeller is used on larger boats that have generators, and it does the exact same thing as the main engine for propulsion. So if you have any further questions about impellers, what their uses are, how they operate, what they need to do, how to exchange them so that you have new ones fresh, please give us a call at the office or visit us at virginiayachts.com. As always, thank you for watching our video session today, and we'll see you on the next topic.